Here's the thing, cycling doesn't have a color. It is time we see more people like me on bikes because black people do cycle. So in 2019, I set off on my 3,000 mile journey. I'm 80 miles out from Andorra. How to get to Nigeria? I'm cycling from London to Lagos after buying my first bike literally a year before. I am getting ready to cycle to Nigeria. Yeah, a lot of people's reaction was, I'm crazy. <laughs> um, am I okay? <laughs> the honest truth is to just encourage more people of color to take that opportunity to jump on a bike, see new places, become part of a community and explore the open outdoor spaces. I'm Temi Latif. I am the founder of the Black Riders Association and our mission is to continue getting more black men, women and children on bikes. Anyone been to Wolverstone Marshes before? No. First time? First time. This part, no. Okay, um, doing a short ride today. I guess we can crack on. Oh, yeah. Coming into cycling and realising there is a lack of representation, I wasn't really surprised. You see a majority of white men on TV when it comes to cycling or cycling shows is what they portray. But I did say I would do something about it. And we've managed to just tap into a community of black men and women who do want to cycle that maybe because the representation wasn't there before felt they didn't fit in. I couldn't tell you what would have happened if the past was different. I went to prison at 17 and I was released, uh, I guess, turning 22. I don't want to say I was in the wrong crowd because I'm fully aware of my actions, my decisions. I will say I was influenced by the area I was brought up in and the things I could see around me. I take everything that's happened in the past forward with me because it's through those challenges that I am here today and I've been able to set up Black Rider Association. I started Black Rider Association mainly to get more black people on bikes, getting ready to cycle to Africa. I wanted people to cycle with, but everywhere I ended up going, uh, it was just white people. <laughs> um, so I thought, you know what, let me create something. Using a bike, I managed to navigate through 14 different countries. So many amazing landscapes, different cultures, different people. I didn't have a map or anything like that. I don't even know how far we've gone yet. And yeah, somehow, <laughs> YouTube videos and bike maps got me from London to Lagos in one piece. As a black man from inner city London with a colourful past such as myself, I also wanted to show that the world is such a big place that you don't have to be confined to a specific area. The momentum is growing every day. Events like the Black Unity Bike Ride highlights that with over 3,000 black cyclists, both men, women, kids, showing up and showing out to show that black people do cycle. Events like the Black Unit Bike Ride are so important for our community because it's about bringing people together. It's about understanding and realising the strength that we have as a unit and what we can achieve. We explore London. Every major London monument you could think of, this is an event by us for everybody. For me, first time rider, we came to come together as a community and don't feel nervous for the first time. I think it's brilliant. So good for health and wellness. And finding other people who, you know, you can vibe with and build a community around, you know, as well as for your body, but also for your mind. You don't see many black men cycling. And with this event, you see lots of black men encouraging other people to come in and have fun. It's about enjoying yourself and having someone with you or a role model that have you seen do it, gives you enough motivation to do it yourself with everything that's going on right now um, in the world. Representation is a key thing, and I guess that's one of the reasons why so many groups have been formed. When I'm on my bike, it is predominantly male cyclists that I see, and you come out on the high roads and it is just like white men in Lycra, like cycling up 
up and down like hundreds of them in groups and I would never feel comfortable joining them being like oh yeah can I join your cycling group you've been cycling how long now just over six months okay um and how's that been going for you yeah it's it's been going really well um as people keep telling me I've really progressed and a lot of people are inspired by me I don't know why but they seem to be being amazing right? Come on. <laughs> um coming in here it's it's really nice and peaceful and then I think, oh, all this time I could have come here, you know, all through lockdown, yeah. if I did have a bike back then. I guess once you get into it, you realise cycling can be expensive. That's like, you know, the first barrier for a lot of people and then all the accessories. Sweet. If my grandma hadn't bought my bike for me when I was a child, a young child, I don't think I would have had a bike. I was one of five, you know, my mum was a single mum. We, we didn't have bikes. But yeah, that's a, that's a huge barrier for a lot of people. Yeah. You know, it's not an accessible sport because it comes with a lot. We all need, at times, opportunities and areas that we can venture into that are a bit different from our everyday kind of surroundings, especially if you live in a city where you're predominantly surrounded by high rises and flats. Going on bike rides just gives you that ability to explore your surroundings, venture to new spaces and, and see nature in its, in its essence and in its beauty. It's crazy to think that this place is right here on our doorstep. It's literally 20 minutes away from my house. We're still in London, we're still in the city, but look at the amazing space. Yeah, beautiful experience, beautiful ride, thanks dear. Thank you. When riding a bike, people shouldn't see colour, first and foremost, but Encouraging people to ride a bike is where you need to have the right people that can be seen. It just means you need a person who other people can identify with to make them feel, okay, I could do that, or that seems like something I may be interested in. We all want to feel like we are part of something. Everybody should be able to cycle. Our planet now. 